kick it. All right, good evening. Uh, it is uh, 6.05. I'm calling to order uh, the Economic Development Committee meeting. Uh, we have a quorum. Mr. Clerk, please, uh, agenda item number one. Oh, I'm sorry. That's you. I didn't bring the whole agenda. Oh. Um, okay, um, on tonight's agenda is uh, Sycamore Grove. Or do, do we have it? I don't have it. I have it right here. Hey, okay. Oh, no, this is the other one. No, sorry. Yeah, I don't it's dis have an discussion of Sycamore Grove with Mr. Pilata. Jim, can I sit? Yeah, please do. You don't have it? No, That's fine. It's my other. That's <laughs> Uh, the, we have uh, one agenda item uh, on for tonight, and that's a discussion of uh, Sycamore Grove. Uh, we have the invited guest, uh, Dan Pallotta, who is our ARPA um, construction administrator. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, if you recall, uh, we've met a couple of times, uh, and uh, counselors have asked us to, you know, step it up, get our, uh, our information together, and work with the neighbors. Uh, during the uh, process of reviewing all the documentation, I, I had indicated the last time I was here that we had some uh, land issues that we wanted to try and ensure that there were actual land issues that might affect the project before spending more money on design. Um, so before us, uh, you have a, a couple of pages. It, they're pretty self-explanatory. And there are encroachments uh, on each of the buildings on the block adjacent to the parcel that Sycamore Grove will go on. It is difficult for me to recommend to the mayor to, you know, move forward until we get these issues resolved. Um, some of these issues may not be issues at all. Uh, these are issues discovered by us in our instrument survey. Uh, we've done a title search. We don't see anything resolved in those two documents. But that doesn't mean that the landowners don't have documentation from previous administrations or previous, uh, <clears throat> some, some sort of previous agreements that we're just not privy to. So what we wanted to do is just show you the uh, encroachments. And we had 214 Main Street. There are two encroachments, uh, a deck and a set of stairs in an air conditioning system on 252 Main Street. There is an encroachment with regard to uh, a set of stairs and a bulkhead to serve the basement uh, of that building. In 262 Main Street, there are two encroachments. Uh, one a set of stairs from a, what looks like a, a rear egress and uh, a, a deck on the corner on the side that may, may, may or may not be a loading dock. Uh, it appears on plan. I, I can't tell you whether the egresses from the buildings are, whether these are egresses or not, but the actual uh, appurtenances that are adjacent to the structures are on city property. So what, it, what, what I'd like to do is take the next step, which is to inform the, uh, to inform the residents, which I was, I mean, the uh, business owners, which I, th I thought were invited for tonight uh, to respond to these, because they, like I said, they, they may have documentation. And, it, it, you know, I don't, I don't want to say that this, there's anything wrong here, but by instrument survey, they're on our side of the line. And that doesn't mean they don't have permission to be on our side of the line, but it doesn't appear from the information that we've gathered to date that that is so. So if they have documentation, we can clear this up pretty clearly and just start running down the track and get this thing designed and out to bid. So if they don't have it, uh, then I'll leave it up to uh, the mayor's office and the law department to figure out what the next steps are. From a construction standpoint, it would be irresponsible for me to move forward and not protect the city by having construction on things that are, 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 are muddied. So the first thing we always do is, is go for clear title and, and clear meets and bonds. And I don't quite have that yet. We're close, but I don't. So I wanted to give you that update. Uh, I'm here to answer any questions that you have. Uh, thank you, Mr. Pallotta. Um, if uh, the committee doesn't mind, if I could just start off uh, and ask a few questions. So uh, looking at your... Um, uh, the documentation that you presented to us and looking at the uh, the encroachments that you mentioned. Uh, number one is they don't, other than, you know, most of them don't seem significant, um, meaning that they're not 
large encroachments. And if the, you're talking about egress and, you know, access points to the building itself, a loading dock, um, you would imagine that, that those have been there for a long time. Uh, you know, to, to these, these access points are providing entrance and exit to the building itself. So you would imagine that they've been, been around for a while. Is that correct? I would believe that's correct. Okay. Now, um, you talked about, and we've been talking about this process where uh, step one uh, when, when you came on board was to conduct this survey uh, so that we had a clear understanding of what the meets and bounds were and uh, what, are there encroachments, what are they, uh, are they properly recorded? If not, then we need, a, we need to properly record them or have some discussion with the business owner, right. uh, uh, property owner, uh, regarding those encroachments. So. Um, what, you're bringing the information to us. What, what is the next step? Um, are we, do we have a process in which we are going to inform the business owners of this survey and then develop some sort of process to discuss these encroachments? Uh, the uh, council has asked me to keep the business members informed. I certainly don't have a problem uh, calling each of them individually and, and showing them the encroachments. How they get resolved is beyond my uh, my scope of work uh, and my skill set. Okay. Um, that th we, we're delving into land use law, and uh, I, 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 I don't know how how it would get done. Now, would you commit yourself to meeting uh, meeting with the business owners or providing them this information, and then yes. meeting with the business owners to to this is, this is now a public document. There's okay. no reason why they shouldn't shouldn't be entitled to it. Um, they knew we were out there surveying. We got a, an email from uh, I think it was Mr. Rodriguez noticed we were out surveying. Um, I think it was him. I, I might be wrong. I believe it was. Right. Yeah. So. Um, you know, we did exactly what we said. Unfortunately, it took the survey a, a couple of months longer than I anticipated. Uh, but just as I suspected, you know, it's not just that there's, there's encroachments, counselor. It's that, say there's a fire in the building, and they're using that as an exit. So I can't design something that encroaches on that travel way to get them away from that building. So we have to look at, we have to look at the whole project as a whole uh, as if we're designing on our parcel of land and, and not encroaching on their, their ability to exit their building. And right now we would be doing that, which is probably why they were so upset with the first design, because there were certainly issues there that they knew about that we might not necessarily have known or understood fully. Uh, we now know fully what's there, and I, I have no doubt that the design can be altered to accommodate all of these encroachments, but the encroachments from a legal standpoint need to be resolved. We can't keep kicking the can down the road on this. It would be improper for us to do a building permit on a piece of property where we have encroachments. I understand that. Um, so uh, the next step is that we, uh, that you meet with the business owners, provide them this survey, uh, discuss these encroachments, whether they got to get resolved, that'll, that'll be through the law department and the city to button that up. Yeah, I, I'm guessing that's correct. And then, so hopefully, as you said, this doesn't take uh, a long time because we want to get into the development stage or the, uh, the, uh, the engineering stage or yeah. the planning stage, at least, of right. now, now that all these issues have been resolved. Now we can actually uh, design a, uh, a Sycamore Grove that benefits uh, the city and the business owners. So what, when we get to that step, and I know I don't want to move too far down the field, but uh, I would like to look at the horizon and try to understand once this issue is buttoned up, what's the design process look like? How long does that take? What, what, what do we, what's going to happen then? So uh, once, once we have the, all of these resolved, one way or the other, it will probably take about two months to get the schematic design completed. Uh, and the schematic design is essentially the pretty pictures and the understanding of the project for the average lay person, uh, including the business community, to understand what the project would be. Once everyone's agreed uh, that that's the direction we're going or the, or the council or the mayor says go, uh, it would take us probably another three uh, or four months to get the bid documents together, a six-week bid cycle, and then we'd, we'd be into construction. We need to identify the project, identify the costs prior to December of 24, 
uh, to be uh, to be opera eligible. Right. All right. So the goal here is to not dilly dally. It's to get all of the tasks done and identify the costs and lock the money up. In my my world, that's by that's by July one. All right. So if something bad happens, we have that extra six months to be able to work on it. But I I would think by July one we'll have the design done and we'll be able to know what the cost of the project is using uh, standard estimating uh, uh, quanti you know, quantification. Now for that design, um, how, how are we going to come to that design? I know we had conversations about, well, what, what does the city want, right? Um, you know, what, what are our must-haves? What are our, you know, uh, options or, or, you know, what's critical, what's not? Uh, so how, how, how are we going to brainstorm what Sycamore Grove looks like. So I think I think the the first and most important piece is in the schematic design of getting uh, some input uh, from the, the business owners as well as from the council as a whole as to what you really want at Sycamore Grove. Um, what was designed, um, in my opinion, hit about ninety percent of the goals of everybody. Uh, there was just a this person had a problem with this, this person had a problem with that, and we may never get past all of those. Uh, but as a whole, I think the project was heading in the right direction. I don't ever think it was, pr pr uh, was um, uh, marketed properly. I don't think that the drawings showed the beauty of what it would have been because of the quality of the drawings that we got from the first go around. And I think once people see that, they'll have a better feel for it. The parking issue, the delivery issues were huge issues for the business owners, and I think that they can be accommodated through uh, a hardscape design that allows for it to be a park one day and a delivery lane the next day. So I, I, I'm quite confident we can hit all the goals. But there'll be a couple of back and forths and a couple of grumblings and a couple of more... Uh, <coughs> heavy size by a lot of people before we get there. I don't want you to I don't want to pretend that we're going to wave a wand and this is going to be perfect. It's not. Yeah. No, there's there's never any um wand waving uh here in Brockton. <laughs> so, um all right, then I, I get a better understanding of where we are. I have an understanding of how we're going to move forward. I would just ask that after the new year, um maybe we could reach out uh to the uh business owners or maybe even before so yeah I'm like gonna, i'll I, probably make an attempt to call them before the end of this yeah. week each one of them individually um i do have their numbers i think that'd be helpful i think it'd be helpful to get this uh, survey in their hands as soon as possible <laughs> and then um and then begin uh that negotiation process or that um buttoning up well, process yeah i mean how the, i i think they need to be given the opportunity like yeah. i said i'm not saying they did anything wrong right. or they bought something that was wrong i'm not not going down that path i've done this a long time sometimes there's a, a document sitting somewhere that you know may have so and so signed and gave them permission to do what they're doing. Okay. So I, 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 that's what I'm hoping is, has occurred with all of these. Uh, but I, I, I couldn't find it anywhere in the registry of deeds. Okay, understood. Then, um, I, then I'm just hoping that that next step in the process uh, is expedited and okay. that we can uh, move forward to a full design uh, so that we can build Sycamore Grove uh, in which the city can begin um, enjoying. Sounds good. Uh, I appreciate your uh, coming tonight, uh, Mr. Pallotta. Thank you. Uh, would, uh, anybody else? Councilor Farwa. Yeah, just a, a couple of questions for Mr. May. Um, the, and actually, you're the lawyer, but <laughs> my concern is that we might first want to have you meet with the mayor and the solicitor about the issue of the encroachments. And I say that because if someone comes out of a business and falls and gets hurt and it's on city property, Technically, the city has some liability, I would think, and, and that, that is of concern. Number two, I, I'd like to raise the issue, which, which we just did. Uh, maybe there could be some type of an easement granted, a no-build easement for the current business owners so that we don't negatively affect them, because I think it's very important that whatever we do, we don't negatively affect uh, ongoing businesses. Uh, and then thirdly, on the design, uh, 
and I don't mean chronologically, but you've been around a while, are there other communities where we might be able to glean some information about how they took a relatively simple, uh, not simple, similar piece of property and developed it into what we, we uh, would like to see? Because that might be very helpful in terms of presenting something to business owners and to the public and to the council. So I, I just throw those open there uh, for your consideration, and thank you. uh, and I thank you, Mr. Chairman. That's all I have. Uh, th thank you, Councillor, uh, Councillor Azak. Thank you. Um, so you did state, Mr. Pilata, that you're going to reach out to the business owner. So this week before the holiday, just I, because I, one of the emails from one of them did state that they just want to stay informed. I want to make sure that we, you know, no. they don't think we're doing this without without them. I, I've done everything I said I was going to do. I may not have done it with the speed to which the council has wanted, but I did do it correctly in order to protect the city. Thank you. So um, I'll, I'll just I'll let them know that the, yep. of the meeting and that you'll be contacting them. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Azak. Uh, Councillor Rodriguez. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Blatter, I, my, my question to you is: For as long as I can remember, I think I've seen this this porch at Joe Angelos. Um, is it possible that we can move forward with this um, in, in terms of looking at this property as being something that's been grandfathered in for so, for so quite there, some there, time since? Uh, there, there is a thing called adverse possession, but you cannot adverse possess a government-owned property. So if this was private versus private, you'd, you, and you maintain that property for X number of years, you'd have that argument, but not with property that's owned by a city or town. Because I can't imagine something being constructed in the middle of the city in terms of that porch and not somebody in city government being aware really? that that was being done. I mean, I, I, you know? we, 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 we weren't here when it was constructed, and people in city government may have known it was being constructed and it wasn't as urgent an issue back then. Uh, but for us to develop that, I think that the issue needs to be recognized and rectified to protect the city of Brockton, which is why I'm here tonight. And, and also, as far as the, um, let's just say that you know, we look into this and uh, it comes down that, yes, there was some sort of an agreement that was, you know, given to these businesses years and years ago, or they, it was purchased, mm -hmm. whichever way clear the language is, that clears clear it, up. it up. That is not going to affect uh, the design that you, were, you envision that uh, I, more should I, actually. I, I, to be honest with you, don't know that to be 100% true on the peripheral view I would say no but I think the design needs to change to accommodate some of their comments and I think that a better understanding of whether they are egresses from the building inspector needs to be understood and what the capacity of the exits are so that we know that we have the ability to exit people safely off the property if that's the way they're going and there's a whole bunch of little boxes we need to check, but I don't think any of them are, 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 are a road stopper by any stretch of the imagination. The design as currently designed is close. It's just, it's not there. Well, uh, I, I guess what I'm basically going to go by is basically what was already kind of stated here tonight, that we need to contact these owners as soon as possible, Great. you know, even before the end of the year, as you stated. Uh, so that we can kind of get over this hump in the sense and get that project moving forward because I think every day that we just sit here uh, It was just brought up to me the other day that oh you guys are now all worried about this and you no longer worry about this You're not thinking about this. You're not giving a damn about this And I think we have to start, you know walking and chewing gum at the same time We've got major issues going on in the city But it doesn't mean that we put everything on the back burner and forget all about it I mean, we, we, we were moving forward uh, until this came up, and, and we are walking, in the, and, and the electorate needs to know that we are walking and chewing gum. There are four other opera projects going on at the same time. Uh, and I'm being specific about the sick yeah, growth. But so the, it, it, we, are, we, are, we are working at it. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you for your time.
Thank, thank you, you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Councillor uh, Rodriguez. So I think we all uh, understand where we're at. I, I think um, it's uh, the will of this committee that the business owners be notified as soon as possible we'll and that those conversations regarding these encroachments begin as soon as possible. And um, I'm hoping that uh, we'll, I'll wait for the uh, chair uh, to uh, schedule um, the next meeting of this. This is it, dude. Well, this the year. Last one for oh, this wait, year. yeah. yeah. Right. 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 Well, okay. right. 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 Continue because the committee continues. Right. Right. Yeah. But yeah, this is the last meeting of the um, uh, the inaugural uh, uh, the inaugural uh, season season. Yeah, I'll call it <laughs> of the uh, Economic Development Committee. I think uh, we we accomplished some uh, stuff this this year, um, and I look forward to uh, continuing these discussions next year. I have a very merry Christmas, uh, Mr. Pallotta. Thank you. Merry oh, Christmas to me. you and happy New Year. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, uh, the, Mr. May. The next item that was on the agenda, given the time, would the committee um, want to motion to to table or or postpone to the next well, meeting? We, this week. You, I, I don't think we have the ability to post. Oh, that's right. Can we just leave it alone and then it'll just die out? We'll just come back. <laughs> it'll just come back. Yeah. So yeah, that was a matter that I did uh, contact uh, the invited guests and let them know the, of our uh, limited time. So uh, agenda item number two will not be heard tonight. No, no, she mus motion, motion postpone. I second it. So oh, sorry. Just vote I, I don't. We need to vote. Okay, um, there's a uh, motion to postpone uh, agenda item number two. All in favor? All opposed? Motion carries. Uh, the matter is postponed. Thank you, sir. Motion to adjourn? Second. Motion to adjourn. Uh, uh, it's been proposed. All in favor? All opposed? This meeting's adjourned. Thank you. Thank you all.